A little over a year ago, I spent $4,000 on a clean black Mazda MX-5 Miata. I recently sold it for a bit less than that, and I bought a Porsche. Now, I have to ask myself, did I make the right decision? Why do I love my Porsche, but still long for the Miata? What is it about this car that captures the soul? It's not very fast, it has some body roll, and it squeaks and rattles like nothing else I've ever driven. While it is cute and has a kind of elegant simplicity, it's not what I would call a beautiful design. I think the most important thing that makes the NA Miata so popular is its value. For around three to four thousand dollars, you can get a clean two-seater convertible sports car with rear-wheel drive, a five-speed manual, and a classic-sounding four-cylinder engine in the front. Essentially, you get a Lotus Elan for the fraction of the price, except the Miata is better than the Elan in almost every way. The price of the car is key because while there are other vehicles out there that are plucky and handle well, the Miata is always more fun to drive because you don't have to worry about the high cost of having fun with that car. Sure, if money was not an issue, then an Alpha 4C is probably more fun. Full disclosure, I haven't driven one, but go with it. But in reality, the low cost, low power Miata means that you can drive it at the limit without worrying too much about your bank account or your insurance premium. I was going to say you won't have to worry about hospital bills, but the fact that the NA Miata is tiny and built in 1997 to 1997 safety standards, a crash in this car would not go as well as in a more modern car. But back to my Miata. I had a fantastic year with this car. One of the best years of my life. It was my last year in college, I got the job offer I'd been dreaming of, I traveled to the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. Is it recording? We're stuck in traffic. After the Formula One race. It has been maybe 20 minutes now. Okay, I think we can. And most importantly, Jim Harbaugh came to Michigan. In February, I moved to Chicago and started my new job working for Ford. I was driving back and forth between Chicago and home in Ann Arbor to see my girlfriend and my family back home. It's about a three and a half to four hour drive, and while the Miata is a hell of a fun car, it becomes a lot more hell than fun after about an hour or two of highway driving. After my signing bonus and first few paychecks showed up, I realized I could afford an upgrade to something that would be easier on my body, which is why I bought the Porsche. I kept both of the cars, driving them on alternate days depending on my mood and the weather. The Miata had snow tires, so I preferred to drive that in the bad weather. After two months in Chicago, I got my first field assignment, which required me to move to Memphis, Tennessee. To be honest, I almost wanted to quit when I found that out. The South is a tough place to stomach as a blue-blooded Midwestern kid. But the company didn't give me a choice, and they did give me a brand new company car at no cost to me. So the company paid for me to move, and it pays for my gas and insurance on the company car, which meant I could afford to keep the Porsche, but it didn't make sense to own three cars at the same time. So I sold the Miata and kept the Porsche at home in Michigan for when I visit on the weekends. This brings me to why I still long to have the Miata back. Yes, it is a fun sports car and all the other stuff you've seen in all the other reviews. There have been a million videos on this car and its technical details and how it drives and things like that. But for me, the car represents an easier, better time in my life. I didn't have much money during the year I owned the Miata. I was comfortable, sure, but I was living on borrowed money from student loans and my parents. I couldn't afford a lot of frills, but I was having so much fun. 
I was within walking distance of most of my friends, I was working hard on my education, and there was infinite potential ahead of me. And that's what the N.A. Miata is when it comes down to it. It doesn't have a lot of frills, but it's a shitload of fun. It's not a high-powered performance vehicle, but it has infinite potential. Right now I'm working my ass off so I can afford to go back home on the weekends and do the same things I did before I had a well-paying job. Except this time, it's with a Porsche, which almost makes it worth it. I would go back to the Miata owning days right away if I had the chance. Which is why my one year review of my first Miata will probably not be my last. Cheers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.